It's cold outside, so let's talk about something that warms all our hearts, the Red Sox. And Sox historian Gordon Needs joins us now. Thank you so much for coming on. It was good to see you. So, Liam, it should be comforting to our fans, your viewers, that we're less than two months away from spring training. Forget <laughs> about what you see outside. February it is 12th. Going to warm up. February 12th. February 12th is the official uh, reporting date for pitchers, catchers. Uh, as you know, in recent years, it seems like most of our staff shows up well before that date, yes. but that's that's when we officially get it on. It makes sense they want to get down to Fort Myers, given it's February. Well, and, and you know what? I think particularly after a season in which we had a very quiet October, yeah. and we don't like quiet no, Octobers on Jersey Street, yeah. uh, I think our guys are ready to get after it. What does the team have planned for the off season for fans who want to stay engaged with the team while the team's not actually playing? Well, uh, the big thing, and for me, it's really become kind of the uh, official, unofficial start of baseball season is winter weekend. Mm -hmm. And this is will be our sixth year of winter weekend. First time that we're having it in a new venue. It went uh, from Connecticut to MGM Springfield this it, year. Exactly. So just a straight shot down uh, the turnpike uh, uh, from here. And uh, it's weekend of Mar uh, January 17th and 18th. Uh, typically, our virtually our entire roster, current roster, uh, shows up. Uh, for winter weekend, our ownership and, and President Sam Kennedy and all will be conducting a town hall that first night, that Friday night, the 17th. Uh, many of our, uh, our more illustrious uh, alumni, guys like Jim Rice and Tim Wakefield, yeah. uh, Pedro's been known to show up, uh, David Ortiz, uh, who knows, Manny Ramirez, new Red Sox Hall of Fame inductee, could right. be there. Do people have uh, to sign up or do they just show up? Uh, no, you, you, uh, you need tickets, you need weekend passes. Uh, you can go online, redsox.com backslash uh, winter weekend uh, to get a pass, or you can call 1-877-RED-SOX-9. The, a lot of people, I'm sure, saw this on Twitter as well last week, gift of socks. What was this exactly, yeah. and what did it do for the fans? You know, it, it's such a cool initiative, Liam. I, I've been uh, a part of it in, in past years, and it's an initiative that was begun by our marketing department where people could go on Twitter and on social media and, and request basically uh, whatever would... Uh, Bring their heart's content, whether it would be a, a player's jersey or, or tickets or bobbleheads. Uh, uh, we had folks fan out all over the greater Boston area bringing coffee and donuts, uh, uh, bringing Red Sox swag. So it, it, it's, it's a fun event. Right around the corner, regular season tickets are already almost available. Or are they already No, they are. Uh, yeah. uh, select single game tickets as well as our Sox packs where we, we package uh, several games together and people can uh, buy them. It's, it's turned out to be a, a pretty popular initiative. Uh, again, one eight seven seven red sox 9 or, or you can go online, redsox.com backslash tickets. Let's talk a little baseball itself. This is going to be Heimblum's first year as chief baseball officer. Basically, he's the GM. Uh, How's the team shaping up under his leadership, and what do you expect for this season? Well, I mean, Himes had to hit the ground running. You know, you get hired in, in early November, and, uh, you know, the last weeks have been spent in, in preparation for making uh, what I think will probably be a couple of significant moves to uh, uh, to build up our ball club. I think we have a very solid foundation when you talk about guys like uh, uh, Bogey, uh, Xander Bogart's uh, took his game to another level last year. Rafael Devers, uh, you know, uh, J.D. Martinez uh, didn't opt out of his contract, and, and Chris Sale is healthy and throwing again. So, I mean, that's that's a pretty solid foundation, and now it remains to be seen how Haim uh, reshapes the club, not only for 2020, but I think uh, uh, the long view is going to become significant here, uh, building up depth in our, uh, not only on our 40-man roster, but also uh, in our system. And hoping we can keep Mookie Betts and maybe get a closer. There you go. We'll, we'll, uh, I'd happily uh, take Mookie. Uh, uh, you know, he is a year away from free agency. Uh, you know, he certainly earned the right to exercise that prerogative. Uh, but uh, uh, I'd love to see him in a Red Sox uniform again next season. He is a generational player, but we'll see. I, th I think all options are on the table at this point. All right. It's going to be an interesting offseason and right around the corner, spring training. Gordon Eads, always good to see you. Thank you so Likewise. much. We appreciate it. Thank you.